Happy Monday, everyone. It's been such a blessing these past couple of Sundays to be back at church. If you attended worship uh, last week or watched our online worship service, you know that we uh, celebrated Jesus' ascension. That is when 40 days after Jesus rose from the dead, he ascended or rose up to heaven. Before he ascended into heaven, though, he told his disciples that they, re they would receive the power of the Holy Spirit. And the disciples received that power 10 days after Jesus ascended into heaven at a festival called Pentecost. Now, Pentecost was a very exciting day. We hear a little bit about it in our reading for today from Acts chapter 2, verse 4. All of them, the disciples, were filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, it had been a very eventful couple of months for the disciples. You can imagine that uh, as they watched Jesus ascend up to heaven, that they probably felt a little confused and maybe even a little scared. But they realized that they had work to do. And so they added the apostle Matthias to their group as they prepared to preach and teach to many people. Well, when Jesus left to go into heaven, he did not leave the disciples all alone. He sent them the Holy Spirit to strengthen their faith and to give them the courage to preach and teach God's word. Now that happened on a very special day called Pentecost, which we'll talk about today. And there were some very strange events that took place. And so today we're going to kind of use our senses and talk about some of our senses to help explain what happened on that special day. First, the disciples heard the sound of a strong wind. What was interesting about this is that they heard the sound with their ears but they didn't feel any wind blowing. Next, the disciples saw something unique with their eyes. Little flames of fire landed on their heads, but the fire didn't hurt them. Then something happened with their mouths. They began to speak in different languages that they had never spoken before. By a miracle from the Holy Spirit, the people at the festival from many different countries could hear God's word spoken in their own language. Then the Holy Spirit had come into the hearts of the disciples. They were no longer afraid to tell others about Jesus. They had brave hearts. Not only did the Holy Spirit work in the hearts of the disciples, he also worked in the hearts of those who listened to them. We are told in Acts chapter 2 that because of the power of the Holy Spirit, about 3,000 people came to faith in Jesus on that first Pentecost. That first Pentecost happened almost 2,000 years ago, but the Holy Spirit still comes to us today. For many of you, he first came to you as you were baptized as a little baby. Well, the Holy Spirit continues to strengthen that faith that he created each time we hear God's word. As we now enter into these summer months, I'm sure uh, many of you students and also your parents are very much looking forward to a break from schoolwork. Well, my encouragement for you is to not take a break from studying and hearing God's word this summer. Be a diligent student of God's word and ask the Holy Spirit to continue to strengthen your faith and to give you the courage and bravery to share it with others. Let's pray. Dear God, the Holy Spirit, make us happy to hear your word at home and at church. Make our faith stronger. Help us not be afraid to tell others that Jesus died to take away all sins. We ask this in your name. Amen. Have a great week and God's blessings.